alligators, what's up? It's Ali Hardesty, and today's video is going to be a how-to video, how to make YouTube your full-time job, the different ways that YouTubers make money in and outside of YouTube, but all related to social media, all opportunities that we would not have if we did not have a YouTube platform. If you guys saw my video talking about how to grow on YouTube, then you probably were waiting for this one. If you want to see that video, I will have it linked below because obviously the more you grow on YouTube, the more chances you have to make money and flourish and grow your income on here once you start making money. All those tips from that video are very important, but today I'm just going to get more into how it really works because I feel like so many people just don't understand this concept and I feel like people are very curious because YouTube is not the typical job where you can just look up how much a doctor makes or you get paid at McDonald's per hour, etc. So I don't take offense when people ask me these sort of questions. I'm not going to be saying how much I exactly make for a number of reasons. If you came here for that, feel free to click off. That's fine. By the end of this video, you'll probably have a better idea. I am going to give you guys a lot of information as well as tips if you guys are looking to make YouTube your full-time job or something similar with social media. I just want to address a few common misconceptions that I've heard right off the bat. For one, not every YouTuber makes the same amount of money. It is a real job that you can support yourself on. It is not based in any way off the amount of subscribers you have, the money that you make whatsoever. That is probably the biggest one. And I see why people would think that. And it's not even necessarily based off views. We're going to get all into that. A lot has changed as well. So I feel like if you guys are looking up other videos similar to this and they're a little bit outdated, the information may not be correct anymore because of the recent ad o Cyclops, whatever they're calling that, which I'll mention throughout this video for sure. I've heard a lot of people say that they are not able to disclose how much money they make. I do technically have the ability to tell you guys because I'm not with a network. A network is basically a management company that takes a percentage of your income, your revenue off the ads in exchange for helping you grow, getting you sponsorships. They can promise you different things. Everyone's contract is different. If you guys have ever heard of Studio 71, full screen, those are all networks. That's what that is. That's why people have managers. I am paid through Google AdSense. That is the only way I make money off of the ads. That's the only way you can make money off the ads. This is not a tutorial of how to set that up. I'm sure you guys could go ahead and Google that and do that in your settings if you do have a channel and you're looking to monetize your videos because we are paid off our monetized videos. If a video is longer than 10 minutes, you can put additional ads in there. Sometimes you will see people stretching the 10 minute mark for that purpose. If you guys have ever seen a blank screen at the end of a video for like consecutive minutes, the videos really do depend on how many ads are in them, how many people actually watch your ads, click on your ads, what type of ads they are. Lately, there have been videos that have gotten a significant less amount of views that I have made way more money on than the ones that are like semi viral on my channel just because they're deemed as like not advertiser friendly. So they're not going to put that many ads on them. Maybe like occasionally they'll throw an ad. It's very complicated. And that's why I'm trying to just give it to you guys in the most simple terms possible, especially because there's nothing that we as creators can really do about it. We just kind of have to post and hope that it's kid friendly enough for YouTube these days and put multiple ads if the video is long enough. There is also, to my knowledge, no set amount of money per ad. I've heard people say, oh, it's like two cents per ad. I've never heard of that in my life. That may have been the case in like 2000. 2011, but a lot of things have changed since then. Again, that's why I couldn't really possibly sit here and tell you guys I make X amount of money because it just depends on what I'm posting that month, how my videos are doing. Because yes, of course, the more views, the more likely people are to see the ads because sometimes there's like a mandatory ad in front of the video for almost everybody. We get paid out once a month for this. I get paid out usually like halfway through the next month. I think it depends for everybody, possibly depending on when you set up your Google AdSense account or if it's through your network, then maybe it's like a set date for you. But this is the primary way that YouTube make money by monetizing their videos and putting ads on them. The next way that YouTubers make money, and this is if they choose to utilize this, affiliate links is basically when you have a code for something. For example, if you guys want a free Uber ride, use code TRYFREE10. When you guys use that, you get a free ride, but I also get a percentage of that money. And it's not very much. I think the most I've ever made with one of those codes is like, I don't even know. I made $6 yesterday from one from like the whole month of September. So that just gives you an idea that those don't really do much unless you honestly have a huge following. I also have another one, which is for a spin for perfect skin brush, which I've used on my channel. I use it literally every single day. You guys get, I think it's like 70% off. I get some credit for sending people their way to their website on a product that I love. They're making money off you guys from those codes. And that's not a bad thing. Like you guys are getting freebies. You guys are getting discounts as well as when you guys see Amazon affiliate links. For example, I have all of my equipment linked below my ring light, my camera, etc. because I get asked about it all the time. So it's just easier for me to put it down there. We do make a very small fraction if somebody goes through that link and 
purchases the item. Some of the big YouTubers make a lot of money off those. Now, the next way that people make money is through sponsorships or brand deals. For me, I feel like it's basically the same thing. This is ultimately when a company pays you a set amount to promote something in your video, whether it's an application, an item, like a pair of sunglasses, or if they want you to demonstrate something or do an entire unboxing video, which is like dedicated. And there are many ways that you could set this up. It could be through Famebit, which is a website. There's a few different websites. I'll link them in the description box below. Or once you have a business email out there and you start growing and getting subscribers, companies will just reach out to you. Obviously pick the brand deals and sponsorships that you do with integrity. I don't think it's a big deal to do those. Some people trip over it, but hey, this is our job. We got to make that money somehow. Also, it's really, really fun to work with other brands and to try new things, especially because it gives us video ideas and it gives us inspiration. And usually you guys get codes and discounts as well. So you can negotiate these prices through those websites or via email. Usually they base it off the amount of views you get. So sponsorships are a very good way to supplement your income, especially when you're first starting. And if you don't really know if you can fully rely on the money you get from your ads. Now the next couple of things I'm going to talk about are a little bit outside of YouTube more so, but still directly related in my opinion. For example, you now, and I can make an entire video on you now. I know people where that is their entirely full-time career. That's their full-time thing. They don't do really YouTube or anything, but I got the opportunity to be a you now or through YouTube. They only cared about me because I had followers on here and they were like, Hey, do you want to be on our platform? You know, it's obviously going to bring your subscribers over to us and we will compensate you for that. I am in partnership with you now, so I can't really go into detail. But what I can tell you is that we do basically make money off tips or if you have a sub button, you get paid a certain amount per month based off how many people are subscribed to you on you now, which is different than like fanning. Fanning is free because that way you're able to watch replays and you get our little sub sticker, which is personalized, etc. I can also stream it through YouTube. So if you guys don't have the you now app, you can watch me on YouTube if you catch me at the right time. Broadcasting on you now, but it's like appearing on my channel, if that makes sense. But just like bartending or anything else where you could get tipped a lot potentially depending on how many hours you're working and like the people who are coming into the bar. You now is the same sort of thing. There have been times where I made a lot of money and there have been times where I barely made anything. But that is a way that a lot of YouTubers make money. Hence why a lot of YouTubers do you now or they do live me and like other live streaming apps. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is something I could also do a full dedicated video on, but that's probably for another time down the line. I've only been doing this since around April-ish, I would say, and that is Patreon. Recently, you may have noticed that a lot of YouTubers have been making Patreons and trying to do other stuff on there because of the ad crisis and all that stuff happening. A lot of people got scared. In the beginning, I thought that Patreon was just like a donation platform. And I was like, okay, I would never do that. Like I don't want my subscribers to just give me money. But what it is, is you basically have the freedom and the creativity to design it how you want, I guess. So you could say, hey, X amount of money per month to be able to see all these videos early or all these exclusive videos or all these photo shoots I've done that aren't posted anywhere else or my private Snapchat or for me to write you a handwritten letter every month. And also they have the messenger on there. There's just a lot of cool different features. It's essentially like if a YouTuber has their own application. Very similar to that. I would say it's like a different exclusive social media and you can follow different creators and pledge for different creators for different amounts depending on the rewards that you would like to get out of it. So that is a really good way to supplement your income, especially if your channel isn't very kid friendly. And my channel is pretty kid friendly, but a lot of my videos got demonetized because they're just hitting everybody, you know? It's a lot of fun and it's also a way for me to express myself more than I guess I can on here just because I don't have to be worried about videos getting deleted or offending my younger viewers because the people on there, they're probably gonna be a little bit older. I wouldn't recommend just doing that right away. Figure out what you wanna do with it. Don't just say you're gonna do all these things and then never do them. If you look at mine, I post on it pretty much every single day, if not every other day. That's what a Patreon is. If you guys were ever confused hearing other YouTubers talk about them because I know that a lot of creators have made them more recently because we have have a YouTube following. This leads me into my last point, or I guess the last way to make money with YouTube. And this involves a few different things. Merch, a book, basically anything that you're putting out there that is your own. If you have a makeup line, all that stuff. Do you really think they'd even have the opportunity to be working with Morphe and all these companies if they didn't have a loyal YouTube following? YouTube really does open so many doors because people love them and they support them. So they could just be like decent and they're probably gonna buy their song. Versus if you're coming up from nothing, like you don't have a following at all. You have to be like amazing. People have to recognize your talent above anything else. I feel like that's fun for the subscribers 
subscribers as well. I have bought YouTubers merch. I've bought YouTubers books back before I even had a channel. I don't have any merch or anything out there like that as of right now, but there have been a couple of things I've been working on, which I'm really excited for you guys to see. So these are the ways that YouTubers make money and I guess sort of how it happens. And through that, I'm able to, like I said, support myself and not have to worry about having another job. It didn't happen overnight. There have been times where I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to do this full time or I was only able to because I had other money saved up from previous jobs. Like when I was a nanny all last summer when I first was doing YouTube, but I'm at the point now where I know how stable it is. It may be one of those things where the only way you're able to have this be your full time job is if you're doing at least a couple sponsors a month or if you're broadcasting often, getting good tips, etc. You're going to have to ride the wave for a while like I did. This is everything I've learned from doing YouTube for a couple years now. And I know that if you work hard, you utilize all these things. It can be your full time job, maybe a lot sooner than you realized if you didn't know about these other avenues of income. A huge thing to remember is that there's a very big difference between someone who has YouTube as their full time job and puts a lot of hard work into their channel and their videos and does utilize these things and somebody who is clearly just doing it for the money. And it's very obvious when people are like that. Usually those people don't consistently grow. So you have to love YouTube before the money. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please let me know by giving me a big thumbs up. Leave a comment below letting me know if you would like me to make any other videos similar to this or if you have questions that I didn't really cover throughout this video. Subscribe if you are new here. Turn on post notifications by hitting that bell button right next to the subscription box. Follow my social media. Also, like I mentioned earlier, I do have a Patreon. If you guys want to check it out, it will be linked below in the description. And I will see you guys in the next video. Later, alligators. Bye.